Rise, my apprentice. In the twilight years of the Mandalorian Wars, chaos reigned supreme across the galaxy. The Republic, battered and weary from prolonged conflict, sought every possible means to end the bloodshed. Among those who answered the call to arms were the Jedi, guardians of peace who had reluctantly taken up the mantle of warriors. It was amidst this backdrop of turmoil and desperation that a promising young Jedi Knight found himself embroiled in battles that would forever alter his destiny. The Jedi Knight, whose name has been lost to history, fought valiantly against the Mandalorian threat. He was a beacon of hope and strength, leading his comrades with unparalleled bravery. Yet, as the war dragged on, the line between right and wrong began to blur. The horrors of war took their toll eroding the very essence of the Jedi code he had sworn to uphold. The fateful moment came at the Battle of Malachor V. The Jedi exile, Revan's former apprentice, deployed the Mass Shadow Generator, a superweapon of unimaginable destructive power. The device activated with cataclysmic force, tearing the planet apart and annihilating everything in its vicinity. Thousands of lives were extinguished in an instant, and the force itself seemed to scream in agony. Amidst the devastation, the young Jedi Knight's spirit was shattered. The sheer magnitude of death and destruction created a wound in the Force, a void that resonated with his broken soul. The trauma of Malachor V consumed him, filling him with an insatiable hunger and an overwhelming sense of emptiness. In that moment, he ceased to be the Jedi Knight he once was and began his dark descent into the Abyss. Approaching the darkened remains of Malachor V, he wandered through the rubble, haunted by the echoes of those who had perished. His connection to the Force, once a source of light and guidance, became a curse. The Force sustained him, but it also demanded a terrible price. The hunger within him grew, an insidious need to consume the life energy of others to fill the void that gnawed at his very existence. It was on this forsaken world that the young Jedi Knight shed his former identity and took on a new name, Darth Nihilus, the Lord of Hunger. The devastation of Malachor V and the creation of the Force Nexus did not go unnoticed. Darth Trya, a fallen Jedi Master and seeker of Sith knowledge, felt the tremors in the Force emanating from Malachor V. Intrigued and sensing the potential for immense power, she journeyed to the shattered world, drawn to the Nexus and the being who had been transformed by it. Upon her arrival, Darth Treya found the once promising Jedi Knight, now a shadow of his former self, consumed by the dark side. She saw in him a potential ally, a tool to further her own goals of dismantling the Jedi Order and reshaping the galaxy. Recognizing his insatiable hunger and the raw power that came with it, she took him under her wing, offering him guidance and a new purpose. Together, they returned to the Treyas Academy on Malachor V, a hidden Sith stronghold where the dark side thrived. It was here that Darth Nihilus met another of Treyas' acolytes, Darth Sion, a Sith Lord who had mastered the ability to sustain himself through sheer willpower and pain. The three of them formed the Sith Triumvirate, each embodying a different aspect of the dark side, Treya, the manipulative and cunning leader, Sion, the indomitable and relentless warrior, and Nihilus, the insatiable consumer of life. As they solidified their alliance, the Triumvirate began their campaign against the Jedi and the Republic. Darth Nihilus's powers were unique and terrifying. His ability to drain the life force from entire planets made him an unparalleled threat. He fed on the force energy of his victims, growing stronger with each soul he consumed. His mere presence could inspire dread and despair, weakening those around him even before he unleashed his devastating powers. Darth Treya saw Nihilus as a weapon of unparalleled potential. Under her guidance, he honed his abilities and learned to control his hunger, turning it into a tool of destruction. The Triumvirate operated from the shadows, striking at key targets and sowing chaos across the galaxy. They used their combined knowledge and power to manipulate events to their advantage, eroding the foundations of the Jedi Order and the Republic. As the Sith Triumvirate continued their campaign against the Jedi and the Republic, the alliance between Darth Nihilus, Darth Sion, and Darth Treya began to show signs of strain. While they shared a common goal, their individual ambitions and philosophies often clashed. Darth Treya, the cunning and manipulative leader, sought to control and guide her apprentices to achieve her vision of the Sith. However, both Nihilus and Sion had their own desires for power and domination. Darth Nihilus, consumed by his hunger, cared little for Treya's grand schemes. His primary focus was on feeding his insatiable appetite for life energy, and he saw the Jedi and the galaxy itself as an endless supply of sustenance. Darth Sion, on the other hand, was driven by his hatred and pain, 
seeking to prove his strength and immortality through relentless combat and destruction. Treya's attempts to maintain control over her apprentices began to falter. She underestimated the depth of Nihilus's hunger and the extent of Cyan's hatred. As their power grew, so did their resentment towards her perceived manipulations and control. They began to see her as a hindrance to their own ambitions. The betrayal was inevitable. Nihilus and Sion, recognizing each other's strengths and driven by their shared desire to overthrow Treya, formed a pact. Together, they confronted her at the Treyas Academy. Sion, with his indomitable will and mastery of pain, attacked her directly, while Nihilus used his formidable force abilities to weaken her. Treya, despite her power and cunning, was overwhelmed by their combined might. She had trained them well, but in the end, her own teachings were turned against her. Sion's relentless assault and Nihilus's devastating force powers left her no chance for victory. In a final act of defiance, Treya was stripped of her Sith title and cast out, left to wander the galaxy as a broken and defeated figure. With Darth Treya's betrayal and subsequent fall, Darth Nihilus and Darth Sion assumed complete control over the Sith Triumvirate. Their alliance, though tenuous, allowed them to unleash a reign of terror upon the galaxy that would be remembered for generations. While Sion sought to destroy the Jedi through brute force and intimidation, Nihilus's methods were far more insidious and devastating. Darth Nihilus's hunger had become a force of nature. His ability to consume the life force of entire planets made him an almost unstoppable entity. His flagship, the Ravager, became the vessel of his destructive power. The mere sight of the ship instilled fear in the hearts of those who recognized it, for it heralded the coming of the Lord of Hunger. Nihilus's most infamous the infamous act came with the destruction of Qatar. The Miraluka, a species deeply connected to the Force, had gathered on the planet for a secret Jedi conclave. Sensing the concentration of Force energy, Nihilus saw an opportunity to feed. He descended upon Qatar with the Ravager, and with a single, devastating act, he drained the life force of every living being on the planet. The surface of Qatar was left barren and lifeless, a testament to his insatiable hunger. Among the dead, one survived, Visa's Mar, a Miraluka who had been deeply connected to the Force. Nihilus sensed something unique in her and spared her life, albeit in a twisted manner. He made her his apprentice, binding her to his will and using her to further his dark purposes. Visa's Mar, though tormented by the loss of her people and her new servitude, became a powerful asset to Nihilus, aiding him in his search for more sources of sustenance. The destruction of Qatar sent shockwaves through the galaxy. The Jedi, already weakened and scattered, were paralyzed by fear. The Republic, struggling to rebuild after the wars, found itself unable to counter this new and overwhelming threat. Nihilus's reputation grew, and he became a symbol of death and destruction, a dark legend whose name was spoken in hushed tones. Nihilus's hunger drove him to seek out other sources of life energy. He targeted populated worlds, feeding on their inhabitants and leaving devastation in his wake. Each act of consumption made him more powerful, but also more dependent on feeding. His existence was a constant cycle of hunger and satiation, with the former growing ever more intense. Yet, his power came at a cost. The more he fed, the more his physical form deteriorated. Nihilus became less a man and more a wraith, his connection to the dark side sustaining his existence but eroding his humanity. His skeletal mask and dark robes became iconic, a representation of the void within him. His voice, a haunting whisper, carried the echoes of the countless lives he had consumed. Despite his power, Nihilus's reliance on feeding made him vulnerable. His actions drew the attention of those who sought to stop him, and his reign of terror was not without opposition. Jedi, remnants of the Republic, and other forces began to rally against the Lord of Hunger, seeking a way to end his cycle of destruction. Darth Nihilus's reign of terror could not go unchallenged forever. His relentless hunger and the devastation he wrought across the galaxy drew the attention of the Jedi Exile, a former Jedi Knight who had also been deeply affected by the events at Malak Core 5. The Exile, whose true name was Mitra Surik, had severed her connection to the Force during the Mandalorian Wars, only to later reclaim it in her quest to rebuild the Jedi Order. Mitra Surik, along with her companions, sought to put an end to the threat posed by the Sith Triumvirate. Her journey led her to the remnants of the Jedi Order and the scattered teachings of the Force through which she discovered the nature of Nihilus's power and his vulnerabilities. Determined to stop him, she assembled a group of allies, including Visa's Mar, who had turned against her master upon realizing the depth of his darkness. The decisive confrontation took place aboard the Ravager, Nihilus's flagship, 
The Exile, along with Visas Mar and the Mandalorian leader Candorus Ordo, boarded the ship with the intent to destroy it and confront the Sith Lord. As they made their way through the vessel, they encountered fierce resistance from Nihilus's loyal followers, but their determination and skill saw them through. In the heart of the Ravager, they finally faced Darth Nihilus. The Lord of Hunger, clad in his dark robes and skeletal mask, was a formidable opponent. His presence was overwhelming, a void that threatened to consume all who stood before him. Nihilus unleashed his dark powers, attempting to drain the life force from his attackers. However, the exile had learned much about Nihilus's nature. She understood that his power was both his strength and his weakness. Using her restored connection to the force, she resisted his attempts to drain her energy. Visas Mar, once his apprentice, now stood against him, adding her strength to the exile's efforts. Candorus Ordo, with his warrior spirit, provided the physical might needed to confront the Dark Lord. The battle was intense, a clash of light and dark within the depths of the Ravager. Nihilus's hunger drove him to consume more and more, but the combined resolve of his opponents proved too much. The exile's understanding of the Force, Visas Mar's intimate knowledge of her former master, and Candorus Ordo's sheer tenacity created a synergy that Nihilus could not overcome. In a final, desperate attempt, Nihilus tried to draw upon the remaining energy within the ship, but his own power turned against him. The force which he had twisted to sustain his existence became his undoing. As the exile and her companions pressed their attack, Nihilus's form began to waver, his connection to the dark side unraveling. With a resounding effort, they struck him down. Nihilus's mask fell to the ground, and his body dissipated, consumed by the very hunger that had defined him. The Lord of Hunger was no more, and the Ravager, now without its dark master, began to collapse. The exile, Visas Mar, and Candorus Ordo made their escape their mission successful. Darth Nihilus, a being who had once been a Jedi and had become a wraith-like entity of immense power, was defeated. His fall marked a significant victory for the forces of light, a turning point in the struggle against the Sith Triumvirate. Though Nihilus was gone, his legacy remained. The destruction he had caused and the lives he had consumed left a lasting scar on the galaxy. Yet, his defeat also signified hope that even the darkest of evils could be overcome by the strength and unity of those who stood against it.